It's not going to go four wide, it's got five wide, but they're side by side. Connor is sideways, absolutely sideways for the last few corners. Oh, but he's up in the gravel and he spins. Rob has made a bit of a dive, it's actually hit his teammate Craig. And so they've all got stuck in the gravel. And Joe gets the switch back to fantastic racing, look at that. It's Oh, contact, but it's rubbing his racing. Joe McCall takes his first ever win just ahead of Connor. A fantastic race. He's going to take six. Or is it? Oh, he just gets him. And is Darren going to take it? No, he doesn't. Mark Nicholl takes the race. Josh is the independent champion for season three. Craig Kelly is your season three winner and champion. Okay, here it is, your second grid of the day for Suzuka. Gary Black is on pole position again after his win in race one in the MCR Storm VW Schrocco next to Kieran Thomas in the KTEC Racing Renham again. Row two is Darren Parker in the first of the team, Redeem Motorsports Master of Tenzers next to uh, Mike Koma in the second of the MCR Storm VW Schrockos. Row three is Harry Cook in the second of the team, Redeem Motorsports Master of Tenzers next to Tom Foster in the second of the Renham again uh, for KTEC Racing. Uh, row four is uh, Mike Kuipers in the KNN Fox Racing VW W. Schrocko next to Craig Kellett in the Ford Mustang for Elite Racing. Row 5 is Mark Nicholl in the k Fox Racing VW Schrocko next to Rob Pellet in the Ford Mustang for Elite Racing. Uh, row 5 is uh, Joe Burrows in the High Hyundai Genesis for HB Motorsports next to Luke Knox in the Nissan GTR for Snap On, uh, Team Snap On. Uh, row 7 is uh, Stephen Heath in the HB Motorsports High Hyundai Genesis next to uh, Joe uh, McCall in the Snap On. Uh, Nissan GTR and at the back are the two Lexus RCFs for Speedy Motorsports of Alex McCready and Daniel Stewart. Race two then for Suzuka. Gary is on pole position yet again after his win in race one. Kieran is second next to him again and away they go and it's a poor start for Kieran looks like and a great start for Darren. So Darren's gone already in to the fight for the lead with Harry Cook also on the outside of uh, Gary so a good start for Team Redeem uh, it looks like oh, Harry goes wide he's he getting does. pushed there but it looks like uh, Gary did get a really good start off the front line with that frontal drive so Noxie's made his way up to 7th Craig is being pushed down to 6th here as Tom's on the outside, now on the inside. Uh, Luke looking a bit stronger here, so he could potentially get a good result if he can continue on here. So further down we've got uh, Heathy, we've got uh, Mike Kuipers, Joe Burrows, then it's Rob, Harry now down to 12 after getting a fantastic start, so that's uh, a bit of work to do there. And that's uh, Dan Stewart getting sideways with uh, Joe McCall at the back with Alex McCready, who looks like he's made another mistake, so this is just not happening for Alex at the moment, is it? Uh, at the no. back. So Gary Rankson is leading again, which is great to see. Uh, Darren's closed on him with K Man down in position last race. Mike is also hotting up on Kieran and Craig has made his way up to 5th as well and Knox has made his way up to 6th so someone may have dropped off not sure who Darren goes nearly a little bit wide there as uh, Kieran is pushing on the back end of uh, Darren and uh, Mike Comer is patiently waiting to see if uh, one of them will make a mistake if he can get into a podium it will be great for MCR Storm to have two cars on the podium and from what we saw in uh, race one, any of the uh, top teams could get two cars on that podium. And that's, oh, that's two down cars on the green slippy stuff. And Mike, yeah, going really, really wide. Both of them do well to keep to keep it together and uh, actually get into the chicane uh, stable, really. So uh, Craig is pushing on the back of uh, Mike. Tom down in seventh with Heafy uh, running in a better eighth at the moment. Harry's gone up to ninth. So he's done well to move up positions, and Noxie down to 10th now. There must have been a mistake somewhere. Yeah, that's a big shame. So uh, 
again team snap on in this and gtr struggling in the first few laps here and uh alex mccready's up to 13th as uh, joe has uh done in 14th and that's rob pellet so rob rob is down at the back so something's happened to rob because rob is miles behind so i wonder if we can have a look and see what happened with rob so we'll have a look find in the replay So we've got a replay here of Rob Pellet as he's on the inside of Mark and they're fighting for position. Ah, so ah, oh, it looks like Noxy, Luke Knox was coming on back onto the circuit and I think he went into Rob. So Rob ends up spinning out and then he's struggling here to get off the barrier. On board with uh, Rob and as you say, he's on the inside of Mark here. And let's have a look in the background. Yeah, that's Noxy. So he's off in the gravel and then he comes back on and that well oh, actually I think Rob spins out slightly as well, but I think that's most probably to evade Luke making contact with him. Let's go on board with Mark, who was on the outside of uh, Rob when he was making the overtake here. And as I say, you'll see there's Noxy who goes off. Mark actually nearly goes off here into the gravel. And there's the contact and look at Luke losing it, just about keeping it uh, straight after uh, the contact looks like Gary's running away with it again in race two yeah he's actually and seems to have uh, bolstered up ahead really quickly in this race he had Kieran right on him from uh, race the first race but Gary's just leapt ahead hasn't he and he's uh, he's woke up feeling dangerous Tom <laughs> so, he got out of bed this morning and thought, yeah, today's the day. He's got a full send it, and he has. And Gary, it looks like... Gary is the new Craig. It's basically yeah. what is going on. <laughs> Mr. Free Time is not having him. But saying that, Darren, obviously, his uh, nearest competitor in the, in the series so far, because Darren was leading this, the... Uh, the uh, league coming into uh, Suzuka is in second so it's not like Darren is miles behind struggling Darren's going to continue no. to score points um, so it still will be interesting if it continues like this uh, Kieran is just about holding on in third with uh, Craig and uh, uh, Gary's teammate Mike in fifth who's right next to Gary uh, to next to Craig sorry and uh, he holds off behind uh, in that uh, straight in that uh, left hand corner uh, Darren must be shaking with the amount of cars he's got behind him he <laughs> wanted to take his position but he's holding it really well you know he's, he's just holding everyone up uh, he's just holding that second position and not you know trying to do anything stupid just making sure it's a car train down the straight into lap three then Cars are super, super close together. Tom gets on the inside, gets past Mike. Uh, so the two KTEX running together now with uh, Kieran and Tom. And actually, Tom gets past Craig. So Tom is up into third. Craig, uh, Kieran is in second. So KTEC are uh, on a 2 3 podium position running together in, in the two random again. So this should be strong for KTEC with uh, Mike Coma now in fourth position. Uh, Mike Kuiper's running better in fifth after uh, a slightly. Uh, fairly average race one so Darren look is in sixth Craig is in seventh with Heafy very close behind so uh, the top front runners literally one minute are now down to sixth and seventh and that's what it is like here at Suzuka at the moment once you get pushed out anything can change yeah you're pushed out of position once, once this change it's hard to get all the way back up there I mean Tom Tom has had a or has luck on his side really there's a bit Whoa, of it contact like it's just yeah just came, man into the, the oh there's more contact. Oh, oh contact there between oh, no. Harry and Kieran. So, well, uh, we can have a look at that because that was uh, Mike uh, Coma who made that uh, mistake and Kieran just went onto the gravel. Um, and eventually Kieran struggled to get back on the, the circuit when straight in front of Harry made contact. So let's have a little look at the replay and find out what happened there. So. On board with uh, Kieran then. And there's the contact. So Mike has pushed him and he's just about caught the gravel. There's the contact with Harry as he tries to come back on. On board with uh, Harry then, and you'll see up in the background there, Kieran's gone off straight into Harry. Big contact. 
So in the meantime, Mike Kuipers has pushed Tom out of second position down to third. So this is really good for Mike Kuipers. He's uh, back in the game now in second in that VW Scirocco. And obviously the Scirocco's are really, really strong here. It's looking like particularly, or well, maybe this, the front runners, the front wheel drive, sorry, uh, looking yeah. strong. Yeah, I think because you've got two long straights, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's that's what the the front wheel drives are really good for. Uh, cornering not so much, but they can make up obviously on the straights. So you've got two nice straights here, just like the Monza really, uh, which is helps helps them out a little bit more. So Craig is just bom <laughs> bombing past Mike there. The on Mustang the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Pure American muscle is a steaming pass and looks like Tom has gone wide as well onto the green slippy stuff. Wow. Down to fifth. So Tom slots in just about in front of Mike and uh, he's lost that uh, position, that podium position, um, which uh, he's now got Craig and Darren in front of him, so that's going to be hard to overtake them. So it looks like as, as a, I've eaten my words here, Tom. <laughs> I said it's hard to change. Darren, Darren and Craig just got all the way back up to third and fourth after being in, I think it was it uh, sixth and seventh or something, something like that, wasn't it? But Tom yeah. has just full sent it past past Craig, and now he's got Darren in his sights. It looks like yeah, Gary Ranksman is ha or has run away with it. So just looking on the map there. So. Back here we've got uh, Stephen Heath, so he's, he's got a lot potential. Race in race one, yeah, hundred percent. He's just got his feet he's now, and uh, he's behind uh, Mike Comer. And all he needs to do really is to stay behind, wait for someone to make a mistake. And Mike has gone on the outs on the inside of uh, Craig into this corner. He's now on the outside of uh, Spoon, which is a, a really long sweeping two left hander corner. Mike, a little bit of lag there, but uh, slots in behind Craig. But could he get on the inside? Think he can and he's going for that dangerous uh, side by side overtake into that really oh. really fast left hander Mike Mike does has have the line uh, to you know hold off Craig but yeah. it probably will send him wide but I think I've eaten my words again actually Craig oh no he has gone wide he has gone wide but he has kept the position and he is looking is looking to send it past Mike oh, a bit of contact there to not, the not quite no, I thought we would have had it then. Look yeah, how far the, uh, Gary is ahead. The this man, is... the myth, the new crate <laughs> has run away with it. He is, is on one today. This is, this is dominance, absolute dominance. And he is fantastic. Look, I mean, it's just, there's not a mistake to be had so far. And uh, really it's just, comfortable. It's just keeping it clean, isn't he? Yeah. He doesn't have to do anything stupid. You know, he's uh, very far in the lead, so he doesn't have to full send it. You know, he's just keeping it chilled and hopefully he doesn't make any mistakes it would be good to see that uh, Gary Gary did a double here at Suzuka maybe it's because he's changed from the black and uh, orange that we normally used to seeing into this almost Italian look try yeah. uh, <laughs> the tri <laughs> tricolore kind of green white and red look and uh, yeah he's um, absolutely storming into the lead no pun intended so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I think the thing is there's no slipstream, so you'd imagine someone catching. I mean, Mike isn't doing too bad. Mike, Mike's it's kind of gapped everyone as well. But, yeah, uh, he's just keeping his head down as yeah. well. And, you know, doesn't oh. need to catch up to Gary because he's just, you know, second, second position, still got really good points. But you do have this pack here. Is that another mid-pack battle for third and fourth? Yeah. I think so, a lot of it is because the guys are fighting so much yeah. in the mid-pack now that it's allowing Mike and just, Gary just to kind of continue on and do fast laps on their own. Looks like they're just chopping and changing between um, Darren and Craig. Mike's got up to fifth. Uh, Tom is sixth now as well, and Heafy is on the back end of uh, Tom. Just, yeah, like, like you said, I think yeah, much better race from Heafy. Uh, it's good to see him, you know. Uh, fighting for the higher positions like we saw last season. You know, he's in the same car, obviously, but because of the uh, introduction of Bad's performance, it's uh, it's toned down the cars a little bit, of course. But he's still doing well, and he's overtaken Tom. And Harry is Harry and sorry, Harry and uh, Kieran are 
quite enough to uh, join this little battle here for sixth. So Harry, uh, maybe, even, maybe even podiums. So both Harry and Kieran, who had offs early on, uh, have yeah, managed yeah. to catch up and to do well. So that's showing how strong they are around here as well. So they came together in the uh, hairpin, didn't they? Yeah. Tom keeps it glued to the track. He was trying to <laughs> screech and trying to keep it on the track, not going to Heath either. As a Harry and Kieran have just caught up out of nowhere, it's good to see. So Alex is fighting for 10th with uh, Joe Burrows. It's good that Alex is. Uh, not just uh, running around at the back now. He did make a fair big mistake, but he's managed to uh, really push on to uh, this position here. So Alex is getting used to that uh, Lexus now. We've obviously seen that he was really strong in the Renaults uh, come Monza. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see how he does in the next few races and also to see how he does in the Renault Megane Cup. Hopefully you can find that form in the Megane Cup, just uh, in the Lexus, uh, obviously as you know, his, his Lexus is his priority, uh, these races. So hopefully you, uh, you'll find the form, get a few decent points, and you know, maybe still early days in the championship, so could fight for the uh, for the top position. And he got the other flag here. Yeah, so that's uh, Joe McCall. Just missed that. So Joe McCall went off. Uh, so we'll have a look and find out what happened with the replay, because I've just caught him uh, coming back off the gravel. And I didn't quite catch what happened to him, so... Let's have a look now and find out what happened to Joe. Let's go on board with uh, Joe then, as uh, we see him already spinning out, going over the grass as Alex gets past. He's regained control, and then it's up here at the uh, hairpin that he loses it. Ah, well, he's, <laughs> he's gone straight off into the tire ball. So Gary's still leading, but I think is Mike catching him? It's hard to say. Um, I don't think so, because obviously he was going for the chicane, wasn't he? So yeah, he maybe. Had a bit of a gap, but I think yeah, he's, just, he's bombing it down the straight, isn't he? Yeah. And then this pack continues on. Another change. We go away, and there's another <laughs> change. <laughs> Craig in third with Mike looking to take the third position off him. He's got the line, so he might be able to full send it into the corner. He makes a move. He gets a move done, but he goes wide. Craig goes really wide. Oh no! So that's not what he would. That's not what he would like. <laughs> Down to eight from third to eight. He's lost another five positions here. So Craig is uh, just oh, he caught the green stuff and he's been pushed down to uh, eighth. Eighth. Yep. Looks like Tom's falling off as well, and this allowed Harry and Kieran just to shoot all the way back up again. And this pack, little kind of pack here of, of Joe, Heafy and Alex could potentially catch up to the rest of them, and uh, that'll be uh, interesting if uh, that uh, ends up developing. <laughs> more, more cars in the pack. <laughs> oh, Harry, Harry goes a little bit wide. Yeah, there. nearly catches that uh, that uh, green stuff again. Uh, lots and lots of people running wide in that gravel trap just at the end of that corner, and it's dangerous because you. It's so easy to hit the wall or oh, contact with uh, Harry and Kieran there, but uh, they managed to stay on the track. And uh, what I must this as well. Go on. Oh, sorry, go on. Carry on. Carry on. I was going to say I must say that the uh, contact has been very minimal, um, and it's just been lots of uh, uh, Robbins racing, but uh, very, very little uh, actual main uh, large contact. No one's been spinning out big time. There's been a little bit, but uh, again, we continue on from Monza, where everyone's racing really hard and really close. It's good, it's good to see the, the close racing back again. You know, from the past few seasons, usually a few people sending it off for the, the higher positions and it'll all be <laughs> split up, but balanced performance is proving to be the uh, the better option that, we've, uh, that has been introduced. So it's good to see that we can have more entertaining racing, really. But uh, what I've noticed as well, uh, there's three, three VW Scirocco's in the top three positions, Tom. Yes, so, so it's proving... The VWs, the VWs <laughs> are the car. You know, from season one, what we saw, uh, you know, they weren't the best. Uh, I think it was a Team 5 promo, wasn't it? Yes. At random. Uh, but, and they, they just didn't prove to be that strong at all. But now, uh, they've, you know, we've got, we've got three of those in the top positions. So, 
I think yo, it, it would be in the top four as well if. No, no, never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> so yeah, you got you got three of them in the top, all the same car. Don't know where the other one is though. Mark is uh, much further down. Yeah, uh, he say, is yeah. Ooh, really struggling in twelve. So this is uh, something that must have happened with Mark. I mean, Mark is. Um, I'm surprised by he Mark being down in twelve. He has, a, he has a really good race, race one, doesn't he? We know he's dangerous at Monza, but after that, he just seems like, you know, he's a bit quieter. He doesn't get involved in the in the battles too much. Maybe he's just... Monza's just his track, isn't it? Yeah. And Suzuka isn't, so hopefully we get to see him in the better positions next race. Is he drifting. Sorry, not Heathy. I've got it wrong this time. <laughs> <laughs> There's Heathy. He's, he's further up. It's Joe up. <laughs> So uh, Joe uh, gets uh, sideways around the uh, hairpin as Alex uh, pushes on to see if he can get past him, but uh, sticks around in 11th. So Alex is still up there for fighting in for the top 10 position. As uh, That's Darren going really wide there. So Darren's uh, been overtaken by Craig. And uh, so Craig now in 7th. So again, Craig and Darren fighting for 7th and 8th. And this has really shown how the BOP has really leveled things out in terms of... Uh, the racing uh, and everyone is having to fight for wins and and, and positions. It's not it's not an easy. Although saying that, Gary is making things look very it easy. Is, <laughs> he is making this track his playground, and uh, you know, it's 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 weird to see Craig and Darren in the lower positions. You know, in, we had expectations, obviously, that Craig would come out, do the free time, and uh, you know, make make that his. Um, so another record set, uh, set but it looks like the ones to watch are uh, Mike and uh, Gary in the MSR Storm so they could take the uh, team's title from Edit Racing it would be good to see you know another team pr uh, pressurise uh, Edit Racing and bring the fight to him hey. uh, Mike's doing a really good job defending Harry as we see in front of us now so he's got the he's got one more lap and Harry well, Harry's got one more lap should we say sorry uh, to just try and get get his way past uh, uh, Mike to get those good uh, good points or obviously as his teammate is in the seventh position uh, it's not bad so things are settled and uh, there's a bit of a gap between this uh, the, the mid pack there's a, a slight uh, little bit of a bunch up here with Darren leading this pack just ahead of Heafy, uh, Craig, uh, Alex who has got up into the top 10 now with uh, Joe being pushed down to 11th and uh, Mark just is too far away for making a real push there but uh, yeah as I say it's uh, it's good for Alex to get into the top 10 and it's progression maybe he can get some yeah, better results further into the season that Lexus is an absolute beast and it's to say it's uh, one of the least desired cars in previous seasons Gary of all people who's now well in the lead uh, really struggled with it in uh, season two so yeah I think, I think this balance performance definitely helped Gary out a little bit because obviously uh, the the cars that were good on balance performance were taken off in an instant yeah. and it just uh, wasn't ideal but he takes the win again Frank's yeah. really done the double here at Suzuka and Mike is coming around for second position. That's a great point, all for Mike after not being here for Monza. And it's a double podium with Mike Comer in third and the podium position. So Darren gets a uh, Harry's race fourth, uh, Kieran's fifth, Tom was sixth, uh, Darren is seventh, uh, Heathy was ninth, uh, Joe Burrows tenth, Mark Nickel is eleventh. And look at that, that's Craig Kellett. So Craig is fighting Mark. But Mark still gets it. 11th, Craig. Something happened to Craig. So Craig must have gone off. Noxy was 13th. Uh, Dan Stewart is 14th. As uh, Rob, obviously, unfortunately, does manage to catch up. Uh, gets uh, uh, 15th. Gary Black gets a dominant second win of the day then ahead of Mike uh, Kuipers with Mike Comer getting his first ever podium uh, finish. Harry was fourth ahead of Kieran and Tom for KTEC Racing in fifth and sixth. Darren was seventh. Alex McCready gets a strong eighth ahead of Stephen with Joe Burrows in tenth. Mark in eleventh. Craig twelfth. Luke thirteenth. Daniel Stewart gets his first points in 14th and Rob Pellet finishes at the back with Joe McCall unfortunately retiring out of the race. 
what this means for the uh, overall points then Gary continues to uh, quickly lead in 88 points in first place Darren in second with 73 as uh, Tom jumps into third now with 59 points and pushes Mark and Craig down to fourth and fifth as uh, Kieran continues in sixth seventh is Harry as he jumps up now and this pushes Stephen and Luke down to eighth and ninth uh, Mike Comer jumps up to 10th, so Mike is moving on very quickly as he scores points. Mike Kuipers also goes into 12th position. What this means for the teams then, Team Redeem are continuing to lead, but only just with 116 points. As you can see with MCR Storm now in second still with 114, so only two points between them with KTEC in third, 112 points there. In fourth is uh, KNN who continue to score with 81. Uh, fifth is Elit who are dropping down the points as do uh, HB69 and uh, Team Snap-on in seventh and Speedy in eighth. In the Rookie Cup, Gary Black is continuing to lead 97 points quite far ahead now of Luke uh, in second with 76 who is only just three points ahead of Harry in third with 73. Rob is on 62 with Alex McCready 58 and Mike Comer continues to score points in, in the Rookie Cup as well as Daniel Stewart gets his first points in the Rookie Cup with nine points.